So um had a little bit of time this evening after after work um to have a quick look at that transaction issue. Um and it was so simple. Um I just need to use a transaction context effectively. So um on the normal database connection. I just need to use begin um, and return a transaction, uh, which is a, in this case, a Postgres um, transaction uh, context. Um, and then pass that in to my create goal um, function uh, because I need to run anything in that context of the transaction. Uh, so just swapping it out, and instead of using config.db, I'm passing in the transaction instead. Uh, same happens for um, the measurement. So uh, anyway, so if that doesn't work, then also we just use a rollback, um, and then same thing happens with the measurement, passing the transaction, it doesn't happen roll back um, and then commit. Um, and again, you can capture the errors on these things and all that kind of stuff. Um, and it works. So now I've just deleted all my um, goals. This is a redeploy. Um, and if I create a new thing, do, do 10, things uh, by end of July do all the things things and the first measurement is we've just done one today uh, and I've saved that does the post and it works. So yay, um, yay for docs. Just went to the Golang docs, looked at the uh, transaction stuff. Uh, and that just so happens to obviously work on the Postgres. They, they keep to the same interface. Um, so now I have cool working with a transaction. So I can commit that. Uh, let's do that. Great. Goal and first measurement. Section. Sorted. Yay. It was easy. Right, anyway, well, that's that. Um, I can now uh, upload this video and send it on its merry way. All right. Um, that's that for that. I will uh, say goodbye. Uh, take care.